everyone. Welcome to a short Soma movement sequence. I'm going to call this unwinding. There is a lot going on and we are typically holding a lot of tension in our bodies and it can become so normalized that you might not even notice it. So today's little sequence is actually going to increase the tension a little bit and then fully releasing it. Or we can call this yielding. So we're gonna start down on the ground. Sometimes it just feels really nice to lay down. So if you find that we are starting to move through this and you think, you know what, it just feels good to lay here, be my guest. So, just starting with a curling inward. So we're actually creating a lot of tension, a lot of muscular tension. I want you to go ahead and wrap your arms in, wrap your fists. If it feels okay on your back, draw your legs in. Feel this tension. And then let everything come back down to the ground. Let your arms open out and everything releases. And let's do that again. We're gonna curl, we make our fists, we can feel our muscles of our arms, we can lift our head, lift the legs if it feels okay. So you're coming into this little ball. You're making tension. So you can really feel it. And then just coming back down and fully releasing. Curling inwards, little ball. This time you can even hug your knees in, pull yourself in, a different way to feel tension. And then release everything out. Let's still go with tension. Reaching, 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 feeling your muscles, and then completely releasing. <sighs> One more time, creating the tension, really recognizing it. This is what it feels like. You can hug your legs. and then slowly unwinding and completely yielding. Pausing in this yield. Taking a little scan of your body. Do you have tension anywhere else? My shoulders feel a little tense with my arms up high. I'm going to bring them low. I may wiggle around a little bit. Let's see if you can release a little bit more. Sometimes it's helpful to create a little bit more so we can really sense it and feel it so that we can appreciate the opposite. So let's just bend the legs. Let's take the legs wide and just an easeful sway side to side. body underneath you moves and rolls to create support before you even get there. Now we're going to just put a little push, which isn't tension, it's a little bit of condensing activity to roll to a side. And then once you get here, yield. Feeling the difference between moving 
Ah, and resting. And then arm reaches out, opening back up, moving. Easefully. Moving to the other side. A little push through your foot so that you can easefully reach overhead. And then once you arrive there, rest. Releasing your body into the support of the ground. Yielding. And arm reaches out again. Rolling, moving, easefully, slowly. Let's go over to our right side one more time. Or Whatever side, doesn't really matter. Just feeling, moving, and resting. And place your hand underneath, right in front of your chest, so that you can, you can move this arm, so we want to be easeful. Just a little yield into the ground. You gotta move towards to move away. Little yield, push with that hand and return. And let's come to sitting. <sighs> Resting your arms on your legs. Let your breath be your guide to the yielding. As you inhale, there is a small expanding. As you exhale, your breath moves you inwards and downwards. Softening the jaw, softening the tongue. Lungs empty and the shoulders, muscles of the shoulders follow. Then you can build support from the ground up. See if you can find, it's not the pubic bone, it's not the tailbone, it's right in the center. And it's like this rooting, moving down into the earth, but just like a beautiful plant growing that moves upwards inside you. I invite you to close your eyes and rest into that internal support. Open awareness if any habits of tension kind of crawl back in and release them. I can feel it in my lower back. I invite you to move a little bit to let things release. Before we close, just taking a little notice, how did you feel when you started this compared to now? Maybe you recognize that you were holding tension that you didn't even know because you might have been holding it for a really long time. So this is a great little quick exercise to do. You could even just get down on the ground, do a little bit of that tension and releasing. There's also a fancy word to this, which is called pandiculation. 
And if you have an animal at home or, or you've seen animals at the zoo or on a video get up from laying down, they tend to stretch before they move. And that's a reset for them as well. They do it naturally and sometimes we need to remind ourselves. So I hope you've enjoyed this and have a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully you're a little bit more relaxed. Thanks a lot and I'll see you later.